Hello everybody. So I know I'm a little bit early, but I kind of want to get a jump on things so that I'm organized in case anything comes up because we all know my life. <laughs> you know, things have to pop up, but from the title of this video, you can probably tell where we're going, what we're doing. So I am going to go ahead and plan out the month of May. I already have so many things on my calendar for the month of May. It's insane. And I feel like we are, okay, so we are <laughs> here. So what do we have? Just this last week in April, just one more week, and then we're going to transition to May. Insane. So we definitely will be planning out this week in April. I will not bypass her. <laughs> I would never do such a thing. But I do want to get this planned. And I'm just kind of excited to be back in my planner. So I just want to, I just want to get everything ready. I don't know if you guys have ever done like I don't know I don't do this because I like to plan with you guys but I know that some people will just like sit down with their planner and plan for like weeks and <laughs> then they'll just be done with like the whole year and you know and then it's just done it's ready I don't think I could do that because I get so indecisive so I like to see like what stickers are out if anything new was released that kind of thing we're gonna do May and I'm gonna get all of my functional things in here we have they wrote Cinco de Mayo in here and Mother's Day that's already in here May 9th is my bestie Allie's birthday so I want to get something oh that'd be fun to do like the purple foil for her birthday that's cute. We're gonna do that. I like that a lot. Okay. I might actually use like all of these purple foil stickers. Like how cute are these? Kind of obsessed with these. And I am gonna grab, where are they? Oh yeah, I'm gonna grab my tweezy tweezies. I have these ones. The Okay, these are like my ultimate favorite. I think these are actually like jewelry tweezers. And then I got these in a cloth and paper subscription box. And I really like them too. So, and I'm just noticing we're not like as bright as usual on here, but it's overcast. And I have like the window. So I film in my basement, like, like you needed to know this, but I'm going to share anyway. I film in my basement. That's where my office is. And I have like one teeny tiny little window off to the left. And the rest of this is like artificial light. So I'm doing what I can. <laughs> so if we're not like as bright as usual. It just, that's just how it is. Yeah, I think I like that. After the ninth, after Allie's birthday, then we have Mother's Day, which is already in there. And then Allie and I are meeting up. And I think I might do a different color for this since it's a similar, I don't know. So on the, on the 15th, which is so random, <laughs> like this is so random. We have a concert that we're going to. We're going to see the Postal Service and Death Cab for Cutie. This is like what Allie and I love to do together. We love to go to live shows. It's kind of like our thing. But do I want another like purple box? Maybe I'll do a purple flag for this and then put like some deco around it. That could be cute and like break it up a little bit. I just don't like things that are like super matchy matchy right on top of each other. It drives me nuts a little bit. Okay, and then Delilah is going by herself. Uh, well, not by herself. She's going with her choir teacher and a bunch of students from her school. And actually, maybe I will mark this with like the washi stickers in here. I think that would actually be cute. And then maybe I'll put one of these in here. But anyway, so Delilah's going with her choir class as well as with her choir teacher. And I think they get like a tour guide on a trip. I'm not going to say where she's going just for like privacy reasons, but I will tell you guys all about it once she's home and back and safe and everything. So, but she is going, you do know that she is going to go on a plane and this mama is worried. I know she is 16 and I know she'll be safe. And I know that like I, we have equipped her to make good decisions and you know, it's with a school group. So it's all good, but I don't know that I just still get so nervous. Okay, and so far I think those are like all of the things. So maybe the next thing will be to mark that with a few washi stickers. Also, I forgot to tell you what sticker book I'm using. So I'm only going to use this Midnight Botanical. This is a new release sticker book from the Happy Planner. This is not sponsored or anything. I just really like this sticker book. <laughs> I think it's really cute. And I wanted to use... <laughs> wanted to use some of these. 
okay, not this one or this one, I don't think, because those go on the bottom of the page and I kind of want to use them. Maybe the green, maybe we'll use the green one. So then I'll just kind of extend this out here and I will do this Live Love Posh Washi Cutter. Oh, this is so perfect that this came in the Go Wild box. I used to have one that I really like from Print Pressions, but I don't know what happened to it. I think it actually broke, if I'm 100% honest. I'm not sure like how that happened. I think I was like trying to replace the blade and like the plastic part broke, but I mean, it was, it was gifted at Go Wild, so not that big of a deal. And I did really like it because it was like a little X-Acto knife kind of thing, but this actually works very nicely as well. Okay, so then I have her entire trip mapped out here and then I am going to actually give myself a little bit of a reminder on the notes page or on the notes side because I need to get still a copy of like her flight itinerary and stuff. I don't have like a flight number. I don't have really have any of that stuff yet. Kind of concerning but I'm sure that they will get it to us as soon as they can. But I'm like the prepared mama. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I need this stuff, please. I need to like have all of this ready to go. <sighs> but I don't know. I'm so nervous, but she's gonna have, she's gonna have such a good time, you guys. She's gonna love it. It's gonna be amazing for her. And I'm just so proud of her for like taking on these big adventures and, you know, doing things, doing things that are just so awesome. Like she... She's such a cool kid, you guys. And I don't think I say that enough. She is such a cool kid. And we are so very lucky to have her. And like the, the fact that she's like 16 just blows my mind. But the fact that she's like two years away from becoming like a grown up, like being an adult, being able to make adult decisions without mommy. <laughs> how, how do we allow this to happen? This is so wild this this whole process of everything I don't know let me know if you guys have teenage children or if you've had teenagers and like how you dealt with that like letting go part because I feel like that is like honestly not talked about enough as we are parenting like kids into like late adolescence like I don't know very many people who have really talked about like the fact that we have to actually let go at some point <laughs> you know like I have not seen a ton of people talk about these things and it's crazy it's just so crazy to me that we just you know as a society it's just not something that we really talk to moms about like I hear so much about like you know parenting babies and toddlers but there's just it's just not really talked about enough when you're parenting like a teenager or like even an older elementary kiddo and this part, I feel like I was not prepared. I was not prepared for the, like, how hard it was going to be to, like, get on board with, like, the gradual release and, like, something that I have worked so hard to protect, like, actually just letting them go off into the world. And it's, like, very scary out there, you know? And, I mean... She is a very good kid. I have to say we are really lucky. We've only had like a few things, you know, a few little bumps in the road here and there. But overall, like she is just such a good kid. But in that same token, like <laughs> even though she is such a good kid, I, I worry. I worry that like something is going to happen and like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I just hate I just don't like it very much. It's hard for me. I think that's partly because I'm a little bit, not a little bit, I am basically a control freak. And I think that comes with like a lot of folks that have anxiety. We really kind of like to be in control of everything and like know what's going to happen and like have everything planned out. <laughs> Hence the planner. Um, but I think that, you know, thinking about like actually like letting go and that kind of thing, that's so rough because because it's it's just so hard she's she's my first baby like I feel like this will be easier with Harrison because we will have gone through it once but these first kiddos man we don't give them enough props <laughs> they're kind of like our little experiment babies <sighs> we have to like learn how to be parents with them and like for us we had Delilah when we were very young I don't know like how many of you know our story but 
we were only 21 when we had her. Crazy, crazy pants. We were just little babies. We didn't even know. So I feel like we kind of like grew up together almost, you know, like, and that is a very special bond, but I think it like even bonds us more. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm in my feels about like her growing up and like doing things and I don't know. She, I'm so proud of her and so proud of all the things that she's working on and accomplishing. And, you know, um, she also got her first part-time job, which is exciting. She doesn't love it. I won't tell you guys the location, but I mean, it is in the fast food industry. She doesn't love it. You know, it's, it is hard work. I will definitely say that she is working her tail off, but it's been such a good learning experience for her. I think but man, it's hard work. And I don't know, like just seeing her come home in the evening and you know, she's like tired after a full day's work. I'm like, oh my goodness. Like you are almost a grown up. Like this is so crazy. It is absolutely crazy that she can like do grown up things and have like her little part-time job and I don't know, man, it's crazy to me. Like, I'll just keep repeating that over and over. It is crazy pants. Okay, and I'm just trying to look at May and I wanna mark down Delilah's art classes on my monthly. I don't tend to mark them on my weekly, but I do like to mark them on the monthly just because and I think I'm gonna try out these like cloth and paper tweezers. I definitely need tweezers for these little like dot stickers. If you have not used tweezers on things like that, I highly, highly, highly recommend them. They are very handy. And I just realized I'm going with so much purple in this spread. I just love purple. It's my favorite. I convinced my mother when I was, I don't know, when did we move? We moved into the house where I grew up when I was like, I think six or so. And it was shortly after that, that she was like, do you want a pink or a purple room? And I picked purple. And like, since then, I've just been like obsessed with purple. And then when I was in high school, we kind of redid it with this like purple and minty green and Ralph Lauren bedding. I just felt so fancy <laughs> when we did that. But it was a lot of fun. That was a, that was a great room. And then my brother was like down the hall and he, his room was like hot wheels and like blue and primary colors and stuff. <laughs> and it's so funny because I ended up having one boy and one girl. And now when they go over to my parents' house, my parents haven't like changed a ton about, about their house. And so Harrison and Delilah now have like their own rooms over there. So Delilah sleeps in my room and then Harrison sleeps in Charlie's room. And I think it's so cute that that's kind of like how it worked out that she had one boy and one girl and then I had one boy and one girl. And they're like, they're still in like our childhood rooms. I think it's so cute. Oh, that little bee sticker is so cute. I like that too. And this little beetle. I haven't used a ton of the florals, but I think I might throw those in later. Okay, we already have the ladybug over there. Is it too much if I put the, I think it will be too much if I put the beetle over there. Okay, well the little beetle guy might have to just stay. But maybe I can do like small clusters of flowers with some of these butterflies without it getting like overwhelmed. I try not to like over decorate my monthly spread right away because things pop up as we know in the month. And so I always like to leave room, but I also like to have a little, you know, little pretty things as we go. And then as we get into the month, I will add in more like deco and stuff where where things are not happening, that kind of thing, because these florals are so pretty in here too. I did not think that I was going to love them, but I actually really do. I think they're really cute. Okay, that big butterfly also, super pretty, if I can find a good place to put it. Okay, we're gonna put this little yellow flower here, and what else can we do? That kind of is a little, I was gonna put these like blue things over by this butterfly, but I don't know if that's gonna like be too matchy matchy for me. Maybe these pink ones, maybe these little pink florals. Oh yeah, that looks cute. That's pretty. And then maybe the blue one by that pinky color butterfly. I think that'll be pretty. And then just something next to the ladybug. 
you like stagger it a little bit. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, but now I feel like it needs to be matching on the other side. Will that look too weird? I think that'll look like it's got like antennas or something. And then what can we do around that little ladybug friend? That will be so cute. It actually already is cute. Let's see, oh, we've got these ones. This little purple guy. And I know these ones are foiled inside. Sometimes I either go like all no foil stickers or all foiled stickers, but this time I'm just kind of like going with a little bit of everything. <sighs> okay, yep, that's so cute. So crazy to think about May. What, how is your all, how are you all doing? Like how is your year going? That kind of thing. What do you have on your May calendar? Okay. So I think that is kind of how the spread is going to look, the monthly. And now I'm gonna get all of my pen stuff in here and then I will go ahead and be right back. So hang tight. Put all your stuff away and check out for the day. There's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees. Burns under my feet. Won't you have a drink with me? that is going to be about it so yeah that is my spread with a little bit of pen on it let's see how we turned out oh she's so cute I really like it I think it turned out adorable she's so pretty <gasps> yay I think it turned out so pretty I love this a little bit of foil so fun and the butterflies I think that's gonna be perfect for May so yeah this is what I have going on so far for May and we are all set and ready to go <sighs> it re really feels so good to be back here with you guys like thank you so much for all of the love and everything on your um on on my videos and just like hanging out with me I just love that so much so thank you so much for being here if you're new here hello my name is Caitlin I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button down below and go ahead and follow along all of my planning journey I do shop with me vlogs and other kind of like paper crafting here so feel free to hang out and if you are um, one of my current followers friends all of that you are the best here's your internet hug for the day if you are a Pacific Northwest planner or you would like to travel to a planner meetup we do have a Facebook group called the Oregon Planner Society where you can come and meet up with us at least once a month. We have a very active group and we love to meet up with, um, you know, other members in the group. So that's really exciting. Um, so we'd love to see you there. I'll leave the link to the Facebook group down below and you can just check out the events that we have going on. And then you can also find me over on Instagram at creating in chaos underscore official. I also have a few other places on the interwebs. I'm hoping to start a podcast live launching around May 1st. I was supposed to launch it April 1st, but that has gotten pushed back a little bit as per usual. So I'm hoping to launch that soon. And then you can check me out over there. And then all of my other, you know, socials are down below. And if you are looking for a coupon code or affiliate links or anything, I would love it if you would shop using my codes and links. That would help me out so, so much. And all of those things are linked down below. And by the way, you guys have fun today.